high. Did you know that tab interactions can be incredibly effective to chunk content into different categories in your e-learning course? And therefore, in this video, I'll show you step by step how you can create a mobile inspired tabs interaction in Storeline 360. Are you ready? Then let's get started. And now let's dive in straight into Storeline for this mobile inspired tabs interaction. I created the slide with a basic design and articulate storyline. Now on the left you see a title text, an introduction text, and a text that says select the icons on the mobile phone to learn more. So what my idea is, is that there are four buttons on the mobile phone, and if you click one of the buttons, you'll see the content that is over that specific topic. Now the first step is to create the buttons, offer tabs interaction. I have already one button in place, but it's not finished, so let's finish the first button. I want icons on the buttons on the tabs interaction. Already found four icons, you see them here, and I found them here. So if you go to the insert tab and here to icons in the content library of Articulate 360, you can find a lot of icons. I already selected four and I will place them on the buttons. So let's finish the first button. So what I'll do is I'll copy this icon and I'll press Ctrl X on my keyboard and now I'll go to my button, go here to my states tab, I click on edit states, and now I can paste it here on my normal state. So it will be pasted on the position where it was on my slide, so I have to reposition it. So I will do it here, so it's in the middle of my button right now. And what I now can do is copy it and paste it to the other states. Wait a moment. And copy it and paste it to my other states. So I've pasted the icon to the other states and because my selected state is the background is lighter, I changed the fill color of the icon. And what I can do now is again here, I click on done and copy this button and I change the icon for the other buttons. So what I'll do now is I'll create the other three buttons. So what I'll do is I'll copy this button and I paste it three times and now I will align them. So I'll, I'll press Ctrl on my keyboard and I will select them all. I'll go now to arrange here, align and distribute horizontally. And you'll see now that they're horizontally distributed evenly. So that's okay. So what I have to do now is add the icons to the different buttons. That is the next step. I added the other three icons to the other buttons. So that's okay for now. So what I have to do now is add the text label to the other buttons. So I can copy this text and paste it underneath the other buttons. And then what I'll have to do is I'll change the text label. So if all four buttons now have a text label, I will press Ctrl on my keyboard, go to align and distribute horizontally. So they are distributed horizontally and also aligned top. So they're aligned now. I will now change the text labels and then we can continue. So I've created the text labels for all the buttons and the next step is to create a slide layer. And here will be the contents of the different tabs. So I'll go here to new slide layer and there is now a new slide layer. I will change the name by double clicking on it and I'll change the name in layer one. And now we can place content here on the layer. So let's add a title. So what I can do is I can press Ctrl and T on my keyboard and type in solar. I can align this and I can press Ctrl T again. And what I can type now is Lorem and bracket one and a bracket. And if I press enter, article store line now automatically uh, adds one paragraph of Lorem Ipsum text. I will make the text a little bit smaller. So 16 is okay. And the width is for instance, 400 pixels, it has to be a little bit smaller and I will change the text size to 14 pixels. So this is okay. And what I can do for instance is now also add the solar icon here. So I've pasted my icon, the icon is now here. I will position it to here and I'll change the fill and it can be larger than this, for instance, 80 pixels. Let's make it 60. I think that's better. So you see we have here the icon. So it matches with the icon on the button. We have the title 
and I will center align it. So it's center aligned. And here is my contents. And I can also copy this layer and do the same for the other layers. Now, to copy a layer, I can here press on copy and the layer will automatically be copied and all the contents of layer one is now also in layer two. So I'll change the name here and instead of solar, I type in earth here and I have uh, to change the icon, but that's something I can do later on. And now I'll copy layer two and make it layer three, layer four. Now I've created my third and fourth layer. And what I also done is I copied the logos or the icons. So as you see here, the icon for layer four, layer three, layer two and layer one. And the next step is to add some triggers to the buttons that if you click on a button, the corresponding layer will open. So let's select button one here. And now I go here to triggers. My trigger panel will open. And here I'll choose show layer. And this layer will be layer four when the user clicks on button solar. So this is okay. So we do now the same for button two, three and four. So I'll select button two and go to trigger. Set show layer and this will be layer two. Here, button three. And you will trigger show layer three. And here, this will be button four and it will show layer four. So now we attach the triggers to the buttons. And if you click on a button, a layer will open. So let's preview our screen and see how this stepped animation looks right now. So we're in preview mode. So select the first button to see if it works. Now you see the solar layer will open and this step is selected. Now let's add and click on button two. And you'll see that we now have a problem because now the button one and button two are both selected. So that's something we don't want. And you'll see if I click button two and three, the layer for button three will open and for button four, the layer for button four will open. But you see all four buttons are now selected and that is something we don't want. So this is something we are going to fix. And also the selected state is not that clear. So that's also something I want to do something about it. But first let's, but first let's fix that not all buttons can be selected at the same time. So let's close our preview. And what we'll do is now we'll select all the buttons on the base layer. So I've selected all four buttons. I'll right click with my mouse and what I'll do now is I'll select button set and then button set one. What a button set does is it acts the same as radio buttons. So now only one of the buttons can be selected at the same time. Now to test this, let's preview our slide again. So we're back in our preview mode. So let's select our first button and the tab will open. And if I now select my second button and the second tab will open and you see now only the second button is selected and not my first button. And what I also want to do is create a little bit more visual cue of that what is selected. So I will add a purple line here. So I've closed my preview mode. So what I want to do now is add the extra indicator for the selected state. So I'll go here to my states tab, click on edit states. Now I'll select the selected state. And here I go to insert shape and I choose a rectangle and what I'll do here is draw a little rectangle and I format it I give it a shape fill and it has no outline and I will position it a little bit lower and I'll position it on the line so this is okay I think and now what I can do is I can copy this rectangle also to the other buttons I've added the purple rectangle also to my other three buttons. So let's preview the steps interaction for the final time to see how it looks like. So we're in preview mode and let's look at our mobile inspired tabs interaction. So what I'll do now is I click the first button. Now you'll see the layer will open and also the purple rectangle is here. If I now click on the second layer or the second button, the second layer will open and the purple rectangle is here. And it's also for a third button and for the fourth button. So this is the tabs interaction inspired on a mobile. What do you think of this mobile inspired tabs interaction in Storyline 360? Now I would love it if you leave a comment below this video. And if you want to learn more about Articulate Storyline and creating e-learning courses, then check out the playlist right here. And if you like this video, then feel free to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.